Okay, tonight I'm up in a field where I take my telescope for astronomy purposes on some of the videos you guys and ladies watch. And tonight's purpose is taking my Sony A7S and pointing it at the, towards the Big Dipper, which is, we get focused right there. Now, that top star in the upper left of the screen, the bright one, and the next one over to the right, of course, is the top of the ladle. The International Space Station is going to be zooming between that second and the third star down on the ladle, and I'm hoping to track it over through the Big Dipper and my Cassiopeia. And while I'm using my Sony, just right here, of course, I can start turning my ISO up. And you can see way more than what you can with the human eye, with my Sony A7S. So I got a matter of minutes, I think, before this happens. We're going to leave it there and hope we hit it supposedly real bright so we'll see we got five minutes yet so i'm gonna pan around i want to see if i can't see the andromeda galaxy first we got to find this cassiopeia again oh wait right dead center of that screen is the andromeda galaxy that haze that is the farthest thing a way that the Anita I can see. I don't remember how many millions of light years it is. But you can literally see it on a good night without a scope or binoculars. There's something right there, but I don't know if that's actually it or not. If that is, that's not bright. Oh, that was a good meteor. Decent one. That's no way that's the IS. -S. If it is, you're not going to see it with your eye. According to calculations, we got two, a minute yet. Here it comes. That there is the International Space Station. We'll try to follow it over. That's what I If you were outside at night in the clear skies, with no light pollution, you can see that whole plane as day. So, I'll provide a link to the website that I use.
can't see it through the clouds from the Sony A7 S. Look at that. International Space Station. Oh, no, no, no. 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 Oh, no, no, no.